Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2004 Freightliner XC Series Motorhome, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Demco Air Force One Supplemental Braking System. And that'll be the parts just for the coach side or the motorhome side. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure that it's something uh, that's gonna work for you. With this particular kit, um, it's going to come with all the stuff that you need to get just your motorhome side set up to be able to tow a vehicle that has the Air Force One braking system. So this is kind of a special circumstance almost. Um, if you're looking for the complete package, the motorhome side as well as the vehicle side, uh, we do carry that. So check into that if that's uh, what you're looking for. But there's a few scenarios that I can personally think of on where this kit would come into play. Probably one of the more popular ones being you changed motorhomes, right? So you already had a similar setup, uh, you know, flat tow in your vehicle, and you get a new motorhome. And instead of having to buy that whole kit again, you can just get the motorhome side and get all the parts on there, save you some time, a few bucks, and uh, get back on the road again. Another thing potentially is maybe, uh, maybe something's damaged you know maybe it's sat for a long time and things just um, you know just got wore out you could always use it as uh, to update update the kit that's currently on there uh, being a an older air force one uh, motorhome side kit <clears throat> so that's always another thing or you know maybe maybe let's say um you have a motorhome like this with air brakes and you've never flat towed before. Maybe you have a buddy or a friend that sold you a vehicle that has that, that Air Force One vehicle side on it already. And they've had good luck with it and that's what you want to use. You could always just get the motorhome side and that would solve your problem and allow everything to pair up and, and work the way it should. Other than that though, I mean there's really not a whole lot to the kit. Um, it's going to come with everything you need to get it put on your motorhome all the air fittings, a tank, um, some airline and, and things of that nature. So uh, you'll be covered there. In terms of what this side's actually gonna do is it's going to tap into your motorhome's air system. Um, and there's gonna be a small tank, almost like a reserve air tank. And that's gonna be full of pressurized air, right? When you're flat towing your vehicle. And whenever you apply the brakes in the motorhome, that tank is going to disperse air, shoot air back um, through the lines, through the fittings, into uh, the Air Force One um, on your vehicle side. Um, that's already there. And that air pressure is going to hit the brakes in your towed vehicle. That way everything comes to a, a safe stop. And so um, in terms of permanent type braking systems as a whole, um, when it comes to ones for um, motorhomes with air brakes. The Air Force One's definitely my top pick. Um, really simple system, really reliable, and it just flat out works, you know, and it's truly proportional braking system too. Um, I'm, I'm referencing this as the whole package. Um, so whenever you apply the brakes in the motorhome, that braking pressure is going to be matched by your towed vehicle. So it, overall, it just creates a really smooth and predictable uh, stopping experience. At the end of the day though, if you're looking for a kit that uh, is just for the motorhome side, this is definitely the setup uh, that, you're, that you're gonna need. As far as the installation goes, really not too bad. <clears throat> I know it can be a little intimidating working on these things, especially with the airlines and everything else, but once you're under there, everything's somewhat easy to get to and it's not really complicated, you know, it's it, the biggest pain is just having to run your lines and things like that just because not a ton of space, but uh, set aside a little bit of time. This is something that you can definitely get done. Uh, speaking of that, though, if you'd like to follow along, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead and uh, set everything up together now. To begin our installation on our motorhome, uh, we're going to be working underneath it and usually uh, just in front of the rear axle uh, so that's where we're going to be uh, keep in mind you don't have to have a lift or anything to get this done um, you can you can get under there and do this but so we can actually see what's going on i decided to put it up in the air uh, that way we can have a good look at it so underneath the motorhome in front of our rear axle first thing that you're going to want to do is mount up the tank 
and it actually worked out real good. There's a couple of uh, bolts that were holding a factory bracket on. So I just took them out, uh, got some longer bolts and used that attachment point to actually mount up our tank. So that's where that is. Then we're gonna have three airlines that we need to hook up. So this one here is going to go to our supply line, which we'll get to in a minute. This one here is going to go to our metered air. And this one is gonna run all the way to the back to our uh, fitting. And here in a moment, I'll show you how to plug these lines in and cut them and everything else. So if you're unsure, just, just wait a moment. But with that said, let's focus on our supply line and our metered air line. These are going to run essentially just maybe a foot or two towards the back and up where we have them connected to our motorhomes factory airlines. About a foot and ahead of where we mounted our tank, this is where we're gonna tap into the factory line. So we have our metered air line, which is this one here. That's generally the smaller line, which is this one here. And a way you can check is if you unplug it, unplug the line, you should only get air pressure coming out of it whenever you apply the brakes in the, in the motor home. We cut the factory line in half using included T, T it in, plug in the airline from our metered air port on our tank. When you do that, sometimes the factory lines will be dirty, just kind of have some gritty stuff on them. Make sure you wipe them down, get them smooth and clean. The next one will be our supply line. So we routed our line over from the tank. The supply line is this big uh, green line there. Did it the same way, cut it in half, teed everything in. With the supply line though, make sure that you drain your tanks in the motorhome. That way it don't have air pressure and you cut it and it you know, goes wild. Uh, to drain the tanks, you can always, what I usually do is just get inside of the motorhome and, and hit the brakes uh, a bunch of times to deplete all the air. But once these are hooked up, now we have one more line that comes off of our tank that we installed that'll run towards the back of our RV where it's connected to a fitting. Now at the back of our motorhome, I ran that airline that uh, was up there uh, from our tank. When you route this, obviously, you know, you don't want any kinks in it or run it next to hot or moving parts. And that's gonna get connected to this fitting. So. Our fitting here, I just drilled a couple holes, bolted it in place uh, where we can get to it. So the way all these fittings work, they're quick connects. And what you wanna do when you cut these lines is you don't wanna use a regular pair of snips. You wanna use something like this or even just a razor edge or they actually make tubing uh, cutting tools you can use. But when you cut it, you wanna make sure that it's a clean cut and it's straight well, that way we don't develop any leaks. And with these just being a quick connect tight, you simply just push them right, right into place there. So once you have everything hooked up, <clears throat> it's not a bad idea to actually start up the motor home, let it build full air pressure. And once it does, uh, turn it off. And we're gonna do this so we can check for any air leaks. Uh, generally speaking, <clears throat> If you have one, it should be pretty loud. You should be able to hear it and identify it. Um, you can kind of go a step further and get some soapy water and spray down all the fittings that you know we worked with. If you see any bubbles continuing to develop, you know you have an air leak. I checked ours, we're in really good shape, no leaks. If you were to have a leak, uh, what you would do, let all the air out of the system again, uh, disconnect the line or you know from the fitting that's leaking, recut it, plug it back in and go through that process again until you're confident that uh, you don't have any air leaks. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Demco Air Force One supplemental braking system uh, for the parts for just the motorhome side on our 2004 Freightliner XC series motorhome.